So I'm here with Kristen Davis, a well, Kristen Willis at the time when she was here at Central. Um, but thank you so much for meeting with me today. I really appreciate it. Um, so just to get started, like, what was your reaction like when you got the call that you were being nominated for Central Washington's Hall of Fame? Um, I was totally shocked, kind of taken off guard. Uh, I was wondering, I wonder why somebody from Central is trying to get a hold of me and yeah, I was, it was quite an honor. I feel super blessed. I wasn't expecting it at all. Well, congratulations. I know we, you were pretty unanimous, honestly. Um, so it's pretty cool being able to kind of like meet you in person as well, virtually at least. Um, yeah. But I guess my next question would be like, what were some of your favorite moments during your time at Central? Um, I think some of my favorite moments probably uh, were with my team. Just like when I think about my time at Central, I think about just awesome memories on the court, but even more importantly, off the court. I think one of our, one of my most positive things is when I look back, is that I felt like I joined a family. <laughs> There's your cat. Um, was that it was just, you know, Jeff and his wife Katrina were so welcoming and Carla Haas was another assistant coach at the time. and. They just took us in like we were their own kids, but yet pushed us to be as great as we could be. And um, and then just bonding with my teammates through the ups and the downs and making memories is probably my most fond thing about Central. Is what brought you to Central? Um, that's a really good question. Uh, <laughs> so I think after high school basketball, I was feeling a little bit of some burnout. And so then I was like, well, what do I want to do? I'd had some bigger schools recruit me, but I just wasn't sure. And Jeff was really awesome about, well, you know, your sister's already here. Take your time. See if you think this is what fits. And for me, I knew I wanted to be an elementary teacher. And they have a great program, obviously, at Central. And so it's kind of like, well, you know what? I have family there and the coaches seem great and I can get the degree I want. So I'll give it a shot. Was kind of my thinking, I guess. Sweet. Um, well, I know a lot of people were very happy you chose Central. <laughs> so Me too. <laughs> hey, even all the more, as long as you enjoyed it, that's what's important. <laughs> um, so kind of like just going through some of the records, uh, women's basketball, like you're still pop up almost everywhere. <laughs> Your name is literally in the top 10 for numerous categories. Like how cool is it that it's been like this long and your name is still there? I Yeah, it's awesome. I actually truly wasn't aware of most of the awards that I had there. Um, and then as this has kind of evolved and more information has been coming out to me about me, I was just really blown away that um, we did so much. I think it was just such an awesome team experience. Um, and I was just so thankful for just a great positive time there. And when I got there, we were just transitioning from NAIA to division two. And so like, I kind of, I laugh about it now, but my first college basketball game, we got killed by 40 in Billings, Montana. And I was thinking, I don't know if I've made the right choice. I don't know if this was the thing to do. And my sister's like, just give it time. It'll be great. And I'm just super thankful that I did because obviously it turned into just a really awesome opportunity. and. Um, yeah, so it's been kind of cool to hear from you guys, all the different awards and rankings and things, because I just wasn't raised to be about that. And so I had no idea. Well, I'm happy I kind of got to help inform you yeah. a little bit. So, but it's, I just want to say it's, it's really cool. Like being able to kind of like see these records and being able to talk to you, like the person that actually set these records. <laughs> so um, being on like a team, like the teams that you were on and just like the amount of success that they had like how did that success kind of help you like personally get further in your own life did any of the success from the actual like basketball experience kind of help you like build your confidence or anything like that for your like career outside of basketball yeah um i think i'm a big proponent of youth athletics in general just because i think it teaches you a lot of life skills like as we become adults we often have to work with difficult people or in situations we don't love or we have to work hard to get to something in life. And 
truly sports kind of build that for you, right? They make you be a part of a group. You have to learn to get along. You have to understand that, you know, we, we have to maybe accept a role that's best for the whole team and, um, and creating that culture and getting that experience then I think has helped me as I've become an elementary school teacher, working with staff, working with kids, helping the future generation see like, here's where we are today. Here's what we can do with a little hard work. Um, so I, I think that's what sports did for me in general and my time at Central was having to overcome some injuries and you know realize like face adversity and you can get through it. Sweet. Do you have any advice for any current or future Central students? Um, uh, I guess my advice would be to any student heading to college is find a place that's a fit for you. No matter what the media or anybody else wants to promote, find a place that fits like, what do you wanna do in life? Can I leave with that college degree? Can I leave ready for the next step? Um, if you're looking to play a sport, can I play? Like, yes, it's glamorous to say I signed at Division One or I signed at Division Two, but if you're not going to play, it's it's a lot of time um, and commitment and effort that maybe isn't going to be rewarding in the end. So, find a place you can play. Find a team or a family that fits who you are and what your morals and values are. And at the end of the day, it does come to an end. So do you leave with that degree or um, direction and you're ready to go out into the world with the next step? That would be my, my advice to any 18, 19 year old trying to figure out where do I wanna to go to school? What do I wanna do? Um, obviously I would highly recommend Central. Ellensburg was an awesome town and uh, I loved just the small community and the community support and everything that revolved around Siwu. Uh, just to kind of like go off of that, like with the amount of change that has happened on the campus over the years, like, I well, I should ask, when was the last time you were on campus? <laughs> it's It's been a while. <laughs> um, let's see, I, I finished in Ellensburg in 01. And um, I came back through a couple times, but it's been 10 plus years. So I have not seen the new uh, is it the rec center it's called or any oh, of yeah. that? It's changed dramatically since I've are been you, there. Are you excited to see it? <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see all the changes. Um, I, I've heard nothing but great things about all the improvements that have been made. Okay, well, maybe we'll can be able to convince you to like come and teach at Central maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. It seems like elementary education is your passion. So we wouldn't yeah. want to tear you away from that. Um, also, what do you teach? Um, so I taught second grade for 17 years, and then right in the peak of COVID, I switched to elementary PE. Okay. So I uh, am super thankful that I got to teach second grade. I loved it. It was a true passion, but being able to teach kids how to find a way to be healthy and active for a lifetime is, I literally often say, they are paying me to play with kids, and I couldn't be more blessed. <laughs> That's awesome. See, that's that's literally what you want to have your career be like. Like, I, don't, I feel like there's not enough people that are able to say that, unfortunately. 